Welcome to a new riff lesson. Today we're going to look at Bent Nails by Snarky Puppy. Um, interesting riff this, very funky. It uh, has an interesting rhythm as well. It's basically in 4-4. Four, four. There's four bars of this riff. Um, but the phrasing over the top is in 7-8. So you get what's known as a polyrhythm. One rhythm imposed over the top of another. Okay, the whole thing is palm muted. And it starts on the A string and we're going to just play frets 7 and 9 vocal down picks then we go over to beat 2 we're going to play fret 7 on the D string and then we're going to play it again with an up but the rhythm is the first 16th note and the last 16th note on beat 2 so you end up with either a missed down pick or you could you could do a ghost in there if you like. Like that. Um, sometimes he hits a ghost note, sometimes he doesn't, so it's entirely up to you. Okay, beat number three, uh, we're going to do a ghost note with a down pick, then press down, play fret seven on the D string with an up, and then we're going to play fret nine on the A string start sliding it down. So beat number three, like that. Basically the first three sixteenth notes on beat three. Then on beat four, you get two ghost notes on the A string, and then we're gonna play fret four on the A string. And that's actually the start of the very next phrase. This is the 7-8 I'm talking about. So, that's kind of end of the first phrase, and then that is actually kind of the start of the next one. That happens on the forehand. So if I play the whole bar, it sounds like this. Okay, bar number two. Beat number one, we're going to play five on the A and six on the D, both with down picks. Beat number two, um, we're going to ghost on the down, press down six, one and up, and then two ghosts, down and up. So beat two, like that. Then on beat three, we're going to play the seventh fret on the A string, and that's going to be down, down, up, like that. Right, now that's actually the end of the next phrase. So if I play it, well, that sounds a bit confusing, but that is actually kind of the end the second phrase, but we're not done with the bar, that's that's beat number three. Then beat four, we're playing seven and nine on the E string, both with down picks. So that's the start of the third phrase in a way, so you can see how this rhythm's working out. Right, into bar three, beat number one. 
he's going to play the seventh fret on the D string uh, on a down, and then again there's a ghost down, and then you hit on the up for fret seven again, like that. Again, you can put a ghost note in between if you like. Um, sometimes when he hits that first A note, sometimes he hits the the open A string with it. I didn't on the recording because I think it might have been an accent when he did it the first time. Or like that. Okay, uh, beat number two. Two ghosts on the D, down up, and then fret six on the A string. Then on beat three, you're going to go down and up on that sixth fret again, and then fret nine on the E. Now, that last note I just played, that's the beginning of the next phrase. Then uh, we're on to beat four. That's just six and nine on the A string, both with down picks. Okay, uh, then we're into the next bar. This is beat number one. What's happening there is a ghost on the A, fret nine, and then two ghosts. And that's just down, up, down, up, like that. Then beat two is fret eight on the A, you hold that out for beat two and beat three. And then we get the very last beat, which is nine and seven on the A, and then nine on the E. That's just down, up, down. So that's the whole riff broken down beat by beat. I'm now gonna play it phrase by phrase so the first phrase goes like this. That's phrase number one. Phrase number two, which actually starts on the four end of beat one. So I do that again. That's phrase number two. And that ends actually on beat three of the bar two, so kind of interesting. Then this is phrase number three. Oh sorry, ends there. And then phrase number four. Okay, um, I hope that all makes sense. There's quite a lot to take in. Uh, you may want to write it down. I found that really helped when I was uh, working this particular riff out. Um, also, what really helped me was I used a bit of software called Riff Station, which I won in a competition a few months back. And it was really handy because it actually um, detected the beats for me, so it's very easy to loop round and work out this riff. So yeah, really hats off to those guys, they brilliant bit of kit, that software. Okay, right, I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Cheers.